welcome to the channel. In this video, we will have a look at the difference between the 5800X and the 77X and some new games and also some old games which ray tracing enabled. So let's have a look. First, we'll have a look at Guardians of the Galaxy. This game is well optimized and runs well on both CPUs, but it performs a little bit better on the 77X. Here we are seeing the recording, the run from the 5800X and how it performs. Keep in mind that this is the recording, but the results will be shown from a run with, without recording. In this video, I will alternate between the run from a 5800X and a 77X. So now is one CPU. In another video, we'll see a run from another CPU. We will check only the runs with ray tracing with max settings because I wanted to check to see the difference between a previous gen CPU and a next gen CPU in uh, with everything maxed out. In this results, we can see that the difference between these CPUs in this game it's not that minor. We have a big increase, around more than ten percent in uh, fr frames. Here we are looking at Gotham. We have a run with uh, 77x. This is at the beginning of the game. I'm recording this one because um, this is the benchmark result. This one, this game doesn't have its own benchmark, so I'm actually using uh, this run to check to see the um, difference between these CPUs using the same settings on both uh, CPUs. I forgot to mention that this is uh, with uh, everything maxed out. As you can see in the in this result, the 5800X trails the 77X by around 10% and the minimum frame rates are a little bit higher. The difference is between 77 and 57, uh, close to 30%. This is one of the games where the 77X performs a lot better than the 5800X, but this is not uh, the same with other games. So now let's look at Witcher 3. Here are my graphics settings used for this benchmark for this run. I will have another um, run with uh, the LSS quality enabled, but I will not uh, show it here. So this is the um, area where I uh, do the benchmark. This is a run through this uh, village and I am comparing it to the 5800X and check to see its performance. As you can see here, the difference between this CPU, 5800X and 77X in this game, it's minimum and almost inexistent. And the same can be said when enabling the LSS, no difference between the, these CPUs, so this game is quite badly optimized. Now let's move to Watch Dogs Legions. This game was released in 2020. It has ray tracing. Um, this game is in max settings uh, with uh, ray tracing enabled and everything is uh, maxed out. I I'm not using blur and uh, lens flares so I always disable that because I'm not a big fan of those but everything else is enabled. This is the same settings on both uh, CPUs, so we can actually check to see the difference between uh, this CPU and the other one. Now I'm going to show you the exact settings used for the internal benchmark run. Now, as you can see, the difference between the 5800X and the 77X, uh, it's minor in this game. We have a minor improvement when it comes to averages and also we have a minor improvement when it comes to minimum frames. This is the behavior in most all games. The difference between the new CPU and the previous CPU, it's minor. Now let's move to Fortnite, the only game available with Unreal Engine 5.1. I wanted to compare the performance between these CPUs in this game. This game is quite, uh, it uses a lot of system uh, memory as you can see it's around 20 gigabytes close to 20 gigabytes of memory but uh, besides that the performance between these cpus are quite similar the only downside that i felt when playing with the 5800x in this game i experienced a little bit more stutters than with the 77x 
and I'm not sure why. Maybe because DDR4 versus DDR5 or server issues, but there were more problems, more stutters with the older CPU than the newer one. These settings that I'm playing right now I'm, should not be used in competitive games. This is just to test to see how the GPU and the CPU perform in uh, an Unreal Engine 5.1 game that it's actually released. I think it's the only one that uh, uses the new engine and uh, this is the perfect moment to check to see how it uh, behaves with the newer CPU. So here we have the results and as you can see the increase in minimum frame rate is quite high but this is most likely because of the server or some stutters that I experienced with the older CPU but this is not the norm. Games with the 5800X don't stutter like that so I think this may be a bug that it will be fixed in upcoming patches or there were some server issues that during the benchmark run now let's look at a new game this one is cyberpunk 2077 and this is like a scene from the game that uh, I'm using but the results are actually from the benchmark run I prefer to use the benchmark run because it's um, I actually think it's better you have a, a consistent uh, run and um, we don't have anything else that can actually um, uh, affect our benchmark results. Uh, this is a scene where um, Johnny Silverman tries to find uh, Rogue. The graphics in these games looks good. Actually everything maxed out it's amazing but unfortunately the performance is not that great so I think this game is should be played with current gen hardware or the 30 series with uh, DLSS or FSR I'm not sure if uh, why we have these frames I mean if it, the nope, game is unoptimized today. or it's actually really really demanding but uh, around 30 FPS is not recommended and here we have the results for this uh, run and compare those both CPUs and as you can see the difference between previous gen and current gen CPU it's so minor that actually doesn't make any sense to change the CPU for this game so now let's look at a regwem a plate the regwem here is the graphic setting that I'm using and everything is maxed out the performance in this game uh, is good we can see an improvement in uh, f average frames per second and minimum as well when it comes to the new CPU but the game ran quite well on the previous gen CPU so um, the performance increase even though it's there I don't think is impacting uh, that much I mean 5-10 frames per second at around 70 to 80 frames it's good I'm I haven't tested in more demanding areas to see if the impact is um, bigger but as you can see here we have an increase in performance when it comes to minimum and average but the biggest impact is in the minimum frame rates as we can see we have uh, 12 frame per second more when it comes to the minimum but both CPUs perform quite well here we have the overall results and some games prefer uh, perform better than other games some games have a uh, big increase in frame rates as you can see in Guardians of the Galaxy, Gotham Knights and others have minor improvements uh, as you can see in Watch Dogs Legion, Hitman, Cyberpunk, Shadow of Tomb Raider, A Plague Tale Requiem we have increase here in average frame rates it's a small uh, percentage increase but um, the minimum it's a little bit uh, more than uh, the usual the only one that actually is peculiar in the sense that we had a minimum frame rate with the previous generation CPU the 5800X of 10.5 FPS frames per second 
and with the new CPU we have a minimum of 26.2 so let's look a little bit of the average improvement we can see here the average is uh, the blue bar and the um, minimum is the other bar as you can see in guardians of the galaxy we have average frame rates increased by 18 percent more than the previous generation the minimum around 21 so it's more or less a 20 percent increase over the previous generation in watchdogs legion we have minor improvement this can be as you can see here the average frame rate has increased by 5.5 percent in hitman actually the average frame rate is uh, increased is again five percent more or less uh, but the minimum has increased a little bit more the one cyberpunk actually doesn't uh, see a big increase in performance around 2.3 percent more frames um, with the 77x compared to the 5800x shadow of tomb raider actually the performance increase is almost in existence so i don't see any benefit in uh, moving from uh, the previous generation cpu to this one uh plague stale regmium has um minimum increase in uh, frame rates higher around 20 percent the average is more or less the same gotham knights has um, a big increase in when it comes to minimum frame rates it's a 34 percent increase over the 5800x and the average is not that big it's around 14 percent which year uh we didn't experience uh big increase in performance actually the averages are the same the minimum has increased a bit fortnite uh we have the uh, um, 12 percent more frame rate as you can see here the average frame rate increase when it comes to the minimum is 249 percent and this can be seen here as well as you can see the minimum frame rate is um, 10.5 frame rates uh, frames per second in Fortnite and uh, with the old CPU in the new CPU we have 26.2 so we have an av a good uh, increase in in performance when moving from a 5800x to a 77x um, newer games exhibit um, better improvement when it comes to frame rates but um, the overall um, performance of the older CPU is good as well now you have to factor in as well the money so the new generation costs a lot more than previous one and probably if you have a m4 and you pair it with a 5800x 3d you will get the same results or probably uh, a little bit better in some areas so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one if you like the video Please subscribe to the channel and uh, give a thumbs up. Thank you and have a great day.